Russia's tank losses in Ukraine reached 8,000. Drones became main hunters of Russian tanks. Russian forces in Ukraine have lost almost 8,000 tanks since the start of Moscow's full-scale invasion, according to figures published by Ukraine's military. Moscow's tank losses since February 2022 reached 7,987. Newsweek says that although precise figures are hard to come by, Ukraine's statistics do offer some insight into the toll wrought by more than two years of bitter fighting. Neither Moscow nor Kyiv regularly offers up figures counting their own losses and experts say any tallies put forward by one side in a conflict should be treated with caution. Back in February, the London-based International Institute for Strategic Studies said Russian tank losses had surpassed 3,000, a number greater than the number it had when it launched its offensive in 2022. In late April, British Armed Forces Minister Leo Doherty said UK estimates put Russian main battle tank losses at nearly 3,000, with total Russian armoured vehicle losses standing at more than 10,000. According to Dutch open source intelligence outlet Oryx, which tracks equipment losses in Ukraine, Moscow has lost at least 3,139 tanks since February 2022. This count only includes visually verified losses, meaning the true tally is likely to be much higher. Kiev's count? of Russian tank losses often spikes during drawn-out battles or concerted offensives on Ukrainian positions. Ukrainian sources and open-source intelligence indicated Moscow sustained extensive equipment losses as well as casualties in the fight for Avdiivka, the former Ukrainian stronghold in eastern Ukraine that the Kremlin has controlled since February. Experts previously told Newsweek that early on in Russia's war effort, there were significant failures in organization and planning of tank assaults, as well as poor training, low morale and ruptures in the chain of command. The most experienced tank crews were committed to the fight in the very few weeks of the full-scale war, leaving behind new recruits with few trainers to instruct them. To backfill extensive losses, Russia pulled tanks from storage and placed its defense industry on a war footing able to refill its stocks while taking constant hits from Ukrainian forces. In late January, the British government estimated that Russia could likely produce around 100 main battle tanks a month to prop up its armored assaults. Domestic Russian tank production has increased fivefold since February 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin said in February. Ukraine often publicizes footage appearing to show the successful targeting of high-value assets like T-90s, typically using explosive first-person viewed drones. Ukraine does not provide a breakdown of which tanks it says it has damaged or destroyed. 
Russia has lost at least 144 T-90 tank variants in Ukraine, according to Oryx.